Dimmy, uh, announced your retirement. It must have been one of the toughest decisions you've, you've had to make. Yeah, look, it's been um, easily the toughest decision I've ever to make in my life. Um, you know, I've been here, this has been my home for 18 years now, so um, yeah, it's tough. It's definitely tough to leave such a, a, a big club, a huge club, a uh, club that has been obviously uh, hugely important to me. Um, yeah, it's, it, yeah, it's home, like I said, uh, so it's uh, the boys, again, can't speak uh, highly enough of them. They're absolutely brilliant, so it's, it's going to be different to not come back here in April. What was the deciding factor for you? Oh, look, um, the Achilles was a huge, huge factor. Uh, it's just not where I'd want it to be uh, to, for me to perform as, as well as I can, especially in four-day cricket. Uh, it's, you know, I'm sneaking through the one days, which is fine at the moment, but um, you know, I'm not uh, putting myself in any position to play four-day cricket, and uh, I still desperately would love, love to do that. I think. Um, you know, other than that, obviously, family, and you know, I've got to do now what, what's best for me and my, me and my family. And, uh, to call it quits, is, it's nice to go out when, um, when I'm still wanted, and, and I know I could, I could still uh, do a really good job, but you know, uh, things have to change. Do you think it's probably, you, know, you, you yourself acknowledge that you're a very positive person, do you think having had the injury since 2010, you know, other players probably would have called it quits before now, and it's just your kind of me positive mental attitude that's got you through? Uh, yeah, look, um, everyone treats uh, injuries uh, differently. You know, the doctors told me it would be, it'd be tough for you to get back. Um, you know, I just did everything I possibly could to, to make sure I got back. And, um, you know, when I first got back, I, I knew it wasn't right. But, you know, I could just sneak through games and, you know, I wasn't enjoying it as much. So I just had to work a bit harder to, to, to get it right and, and make sure I, I enjoyed playing the game again. And, yeah, look, I've done the most. Anyone will tell you that's had big injuries, the rehab is so boring. It's just days and nights, and so it's not, it's not much fun by yourself doing all that. But um, yeah, it's one of those things that's got to be done, and you know, I'm, I'm glad that I worked hard to, to get myself from, back in shape and put myself in a position to perform like I have been, especially in one day cricket. Absolutely, of course, the, the, the team's success in the last two or three years since you've been carrying the injury it must make, to a certain extent, it must make some of the pain worth it. Oh, absolutely. You know, we've won uh, a few trophies in the, in the last few years, and um, that's great. Or any time you go to Laws and win a trophy, or, you know, now 2020 finals days, they're, they're huge, huge days. And um, you know, to win a couple of those as well, it's just, it's just amazing, man. It's great for the lads, you know, we've got a young side. Well, a good mixture of, of youth and experience, and um, it's great to enjoy enjoy that feeling with those boys. So, what's what's next for you now? Do you go into coaching? Do you have other ideas? Um, yeah, look, coaching is probably um, what I, well where I want to go from here. Um, I don't have anything lined up as yet, but um, you know, most importantly, I, I'm, I'm still here until September, so I want to give myself every chance to you know, possibly win a couple of trophies and, and get uh, promoted. So, there's still all that to play for. And then uh, I'll probably sit down in October and um, think where, where next.